right, gonna do a little staining. I like to use instant coffee when I stain my pieces and prints to give it that aged look and a nice aroma to it. Um, instant coffee, this is about the only good thing you can do with instant coffee. You don't want to drink this. It's just awful. So, what I do is just take a paper towel, dip it into my concoction, and just go ahead and stain like you're staining a piece of wood. Now, I do this with uh, original artwork, prints, uh, whenever it strikes my fancy, uh, when I think a piece needs to look a certain way. I myself love this look for prints hanging up in your house. Uh, it just gives it a really nice classic look to it. Uh, takes a while to dry. Sometimes you want to restain them over if you don't like the way it looks the first time around. Uh, but uh, yeah. Take a nice ordinary black and white print and make it look something special. And I always stain both sides. Now there's a reason for that. Because uh, it gives you the illusion of it being a nice old piece when it's stained on both sides instead of flipping over and you got a white side on the other side. And it gives it a thick, thicker texture to it. Like I said, it's a, it's a different feel paper-wise after it's stained. I mean, it does feel like old parchment. It's pretty cool. Uh, the way it feels, the way it sounds, and especially the way it smells, since I love using coffee. Um, I've tried uh, all sorts of different staining process. Uh, I like to keep everything kind of natural. Uh, I don't like uh, using a lot of toxic products that are bad for the environment. And, but uh, regular coffee, teas, and stuff like that, unless you make them super strong, it's, it's not going to stain. It's not going to stain like this. Instant coffee does. So, imagine what this is doing to the paper. <laughs> and if you're drinking it, it's staining the insides of you. So, yeah, something very special about instant coffee. Don't want to drink it. But I love using it for an art supplies. I love painting with it too. I don't know. There's just something about the way it works for me. I really like it. So there you go. Staining process. And that's going to take about a day for it to completely dry properly. So there we go like I said and this type of thing is perfect for a stained piece you know the Erie City Post Pixie Plague Plant Panic I do these these little old-school news articles um, you know that would look like you know from an old newspaper or whatever like that uh, but when it dries it's gonna have a totally different color so I'll go ahead and shoot that as soon as it dries and uh, there we go.